All right, guys. You know, I really wasn't sure what I was going to do on this video um, for you guys on my list or anything, but I figured, you know, why not um, help you guys push your videos out there just a little bit more? So I think that's what we're going to go over. As a matter of fact, let me uh, let me click over here real quick. I got my uh, screen up so we can kind of go over a few things. You know, I'm going to tell you this right now. Um, you know, YouTube is the second largest searched, um, basically, search. <laughs> uh, on the planet, um, you know, next to Google, I mean, YouTube is right there with them, and it is Google, so <laughs> that's how that goes. You know, it's Google, it's, it's YouTube. You know, as we start to see, and I've always noticed that, that whenever I first started out, um, you know, you guys can look at Daily Motion and look up David Boozer, David and Christine, and that's my wife, and, and, uh, you know, I had some old videos where I was like, uh, uh, ooh, uh. <laughs> you know, just, just a total nerd. And, <laughs> um, I'll tell you what, it was, it was, uh, it was rather nerve wracking at first to really get in here and, and create videos and get in front of you and get in front of this camera and, and do my thing. But eventually, it, you know, if you notice, even on those videos, you know, the first month kind of wacky, second month getting better, third and fourth month getting pretty good. And, Today, this is what you see. Very comfortable in front of the camera, doing just fine. Um, there's nothing to be afraid of out here. <laughs> it's not. Um, it's actually, uh, I'll tell you what, sometimes it's going to be kind of an addicting thing. Not that you like to see yourself on a video. It's just, it, it becomes addicting because you really want to get out there and drive that traffic because video has this wonderful, wonderful effect. It, it's kind of like your presence online where that's, your, that's, your, that's where you're building that brand trust. And the thing is, is that if people find your video before they find your website, uh, it's a good way to build brand trust to get them in to where you can convert them because of brand trust on your website. And, uh, you know, just, it, it goes beyond awareness. You know, articles, press releases, um, uh, you know, links to things in social media and things on social media, those are really good at creating brand awareness. But brand trust usually comes through your presence online and literally your presence online through video. Um, but here's some of the things that people have issues with. Most people have issues, well, how do I promote this same day? You know, first off, you want it to get found. <laughs> that's, that's probably the hardest part for people is like, I just want it to get found. I never find myself on the front page of that YouTube. You know, I had a friend of mine, he's a great SEO and you know, he's been looking at my stuff and he always notices I'm either twice on the front page of Google, once on the front page of Google, or once on the front page of Google and I'm at the, I'm above the fold inside of YouTube, period. And I mean, it just, and this is with multiple different variations of the keywords that I use for my titles. And it's such a wonderful thing to be able to do that, but it's a very simple thing to do that. You know, ways to promote your videos is first off, you want to make sure that you SEO that video correctly the first time. You want to make sure that you got your title on there. You want to make sure you got your descriptions in there. You want to make sure you got your tags in there. If you don't have the free video training series, guys, on how to build and brand and manage a business online, click on the link, get to my website, fill out your information. It's all free. Um, but that's the thing. You know, uh, I actually have really solid strategies of using the same title that I use in a, uh, a, on a blog post like this one right here. Magic. Look at the title. Hover over the YouTube video here. You'll see that the titles match. It makes sense. I use things like the first, second, and last paragraph uh, inside of the description section. Why do I do that? Because it just adds a little bit more keyword-rich content to that video in the description, plus the title. My tags, my tags are really just my, my title of this broken up into two, two or three words at a time. That's really it. Nothing more than that. After that, I go out and I share it some more. How do I share that? Well, I share it on my blog post. Here we are all together right now here on my blog where I can brand myself and build that brand trust and that awareness about who I am and what I have to offer you. That's why I'm here. This stuff is pretty simple and all I did was embed it on my blog. There's ways to do that. You can just use the iframes or the, the, old, the old code or you can use short codes like I use. 
But the thing is, is that I shared it on this piece of content. First off, that's not only going to help SEO this content, but this is really going to create a good piece of content for you. And that, in the end, I'll be all of the day is the most important thing about video. Is branding yourself, building that trust. What else do I got here? Let's see. There's a few little things I wanted to go over with you guys. You know, um, there's things that you can sit there and you can do on YouTube itself. Uh, you can create playlists. Now, um, this is something I'm actually getting into myself now. I, I've never really messed with it too much because I just don't see how real effective it is, but I can see that it's kind of nice for some people to have a list of videos to where they don't have to go in and look at... Yeah, I know some of you have actually gone in and looked at all my videos and you're like, I keep watching all the videos, I want to find this about this and blah, blah, blah. This really actually keeps it simple in one place where people can, you can take a playlist of like all your like coolest internet marketing training videos or the coolest, you know, fishing videos that you have and put them all on one little, one little line there. So people can click on them and they're always there. You can have a little playlist made. I think having a playlist is a pretty good thing for the most part. Um, sharing. Sharing is canning, guys. This is the fourth final little deal. Sharing your videos. Um, there's um, a lot of people out here that try to just load up a video to Facebook straight from their PC or anything like that. Share a link. Uh, link juice is so much more important. You know, I, I, you guys have heard me before saying SEO is dead and link building is dead. Well, you know, it's, it's only dead to a certain point. When it comes to social media, that stuff is, it's, and even regular link building is still important. It's just not as important as it used to be. What's more important today is social media. It's the social signals that we can get from our videos. As a matter of fact, when people, uh, I notice that when I throw up my videos occasionally up on uh, Facebook or Google+, they get a lot of views real quick. I can get a few score of views in a single day from Google+, uh, Plus and Facebook. Um, you know, and I'm going to tell you one little secret, too, real quick before this video is over on something that I do to get a whole bunch of views real quick. Um, but, you know, in the end, I'll be all sharing it is really, really good. This is a way to create that brand awareness out there. You know, going out there and you've got 500 friends or 1,000 friends and family members on Facebook, throw that video up there. You're not trying to sell anything. You're trying to educate people on what they want to do. I've got cousins and they're trying to figure out how to do this online and they won't pay their cousin Dave here for $497 at a <laughs> market online. Well, then they'll just have to deal with free videos. Um, heck, if you pay, they got to pay. That's the deal. Um, yeah. Um, that's just the way it is. But the thing is, is that when I started sharing this out there, my family started recognizing what I do. My friends started recognizing what I do for a living. And they started going, wow, man, you know, you're pretty good at this. And all I said was, you know, what was practice? I got out here and made the videos. I wasn't, you know, I was nervous. I was nervous. And don't, don't, don't worry about the nervousness. It goes away. You know, you're talking to a camera. It's not like it's going to reach out and slap you. Um, yeah. And, <laughs> and neither is anybody else. As a matter of fact, guys, you'll find more people out here that you'll have more in common with than people you don't. You've got two types of people out here. One out of a hundred might leave you a nasty little comment, maybe. Um, probably one out of a thousand. But for the most part, people will either like it, they'll comment on it, they'll subscribe, or they'll just watch it and leave, or they don't care. They're gone. That was it. Some will, some won't. So what? You know, when it comes to video, I mean, that's about how it should be. You don't need to pay $2,000 to learn this crap. It's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Make the video. You know, and there's something to be said about getting up in front of the camera yourself. I, I think that that's very vital. Uh, I think it's something that should be done once in a while. I think it should be done more often than doing the recorded ones where you're putting up slideshows. Get in front of the camera. I don't care if you have a face for radio. So do I. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm here anyways. That's it. For those of you who have a list, that's a great way to start getting a lot of views on your videos real quick because you can actually create that blog post, create that article within your website, uh, throw that video up there just like I did right here. And the thing is, is if you hit your list with this kind of information, views start going up, which means your video is getting better SEO uh, right out of the gate. Uh, it's getting more views to, the, to Google that looks popular. It looks like, oh, wow, this guy puts stuff out. Boom, boom, boom. We've got 50 views already. Let's throw it up there. Let's get it seen. 
That's what's happening there. That's it. You don't need to buy another $100 upsell to learn that trick. There it is. Um, you know, it's, it's pretty simple. Most everything here is pretty simple. I, I don't understand why people pay thousands of dollars, you know, with Andrea and all them just to figure out how to do video marketing. You, know, you don't need a $1,500 camera. I've been using this camera for two and a half years, two years, something like that. Flip camera. I've got three cameras. I bought a bloggy, I bought a flip, and I bought a third generation flip. Best little cameras I ever bought. Great little write-off, and uh, they work wonderfully. You know, get in front of there. Start building that brand awareness out there through sharing it through your social media. Start embedding these videos on your blogs. Really share your information and really brand yourself to that information. Start building that trust. That is where serious money can be made online. It's the best place to sit there and do your affiliate marketing, build your opportunities, or promote your products and services locally. Is YouTube. Not kidding. Wonderful. Anyways, thank you guys very much for being in this video, no matter what. God bless.